Hey everybody, this is your girl Charlotte Shea and y'all already know what we're doing today. We're doing Bake Easy Hacks. So when I make my cakes, I like for them to be the same length and same height. And majority of the time, you don't want some of, none of it to come off in your pans because it'll mess up on your specialty cakes as I have some pictures of my specialty cakes now that I have done and they came out great. All because I knew this hack. I didn't have to go buy any Bake Easy. I just used the hack and it worked. So I'm going to show y'all some how to do it and I hope it works for you. So y'all know what time it is. It's time to get into the video. All right, so what you need is half a cup of Crisco. One fourth cup of vegetable oil and one and a half cup of self rising or all purpose flour, and last but not least, a bag, storage bag, a gallon size of your choice. All right, so you're gonna just take all that and put it in a bowl and mix it together. And once you mix it together, you're gonna make sure you get all the lumps out, and it's kind of a smooth consistency. It doesn't take long. As you can see here, it's continuing to become smooth. You just got to keep continuing to mix it. And as it gets smooth, now I'm showing you exactly the texture. Stiff peaks, as I always say. Then you're going to place it in one of your Gladlock bags as storage. And you can keep it up to three months if you use uh, shortening. But if you use butter, I say seven days. Well, seven to 14 days. Just depends on how it stays together now i'm gonna show you how to put it on your pan you're gonna need your baking brush this one right here is the one that i use i really don't like the rubber one i like to use the regular brush it looks like a little paint brush but you use it for cooking but you're gonna um take it and brush your whole pan and once you do that you just keep on brushing just keep on brushing and when you get finished brushing, this is what you come up with. As you can see, my whole pan is actually covered. I've got the corners and all over the pan. So once you know you have good coverage, you can go ahead and actually put your uh, cake to, um, in the oven and bake it. Take it out. And make sure you let it cool because if you don't, it's still going to come off wrong. It might come off halfway. So once you cool it, you uh, take a knife, go around the whole cake edges and then take it out and you go ahead and you can decorate your cakes these are some of the cakes that i've just shown you that i actually used the hack on i ran out of my bake easy and didn't have to go to the store because you have these items at home so y'all make sure y'all like this video for me and subscribe but i guess i'm gonna get out of here bye <laughs> Don't forget to follow me on all social media under Charlotte Shea. All right, so I'm going to let y'all go. Bye. Now, back to the music. All right. Jump in the Cadillac. Girl, let's put some